With each new addition of FIFA comes a range of new features, from tweaks to the gameplay to additions to popular modes such as Ultimate Team or Career Mode. EA Sports has confirmed a range of new features for FIFA 21 ahead of its October 9th release, so here are the top 5 that we're most excited about so far. Interactive Match Sim Career Mode has often been neglected by EA in recent years in favor of other modes like Ultimate Team, The Journey, and Volta. There's a lot that needs to be done to breathe new life into it as a result. But EA finally appears to have made significant changes to career mode on FIFA 21, one of which has been to revive the visual sim from FIFA 07 in the form of the interactive match sim. There are times in any FIFA career when you'll be tempted to sim a game or two, whether you're looking to advance quickly to an important match or you're simply fatigued from fixture overload from multiple competitions. On FIFA 20, simming matches is practically instantaneous, with the final score displayed straight after the players have warmed up. Sometimes that might be exactly what you'll want, but the interactive match sim will allow you to keep track of how the match is unfolding, along with your player's performance levels and stamina, in a football manager-esque way. What's more, you'll not only be able to alter the tactics on the fly and make substitutions, but you can also directly intervene by hopping into the match to take charge of key moments like penalties or one-on-one -on -one situations before hopping back out again. The interactive match sim should make players feel much more like a manager and enhance the career mode experience significantly. Convert Player Positions Another new feature being added to career mode is the ability to convert players to new positions. You can't easily make extreme changes, so don't bank on being able to redeploy Sergio Ramos up front or test Ederson's footwork by turning him into a midfielder. But for example, converting a winger like Garrett Bell into a proper fullback will be doable. The ability to restrain your players in this way should enhance your control over your squad and give you more options to play with. If you're on a tight budget and have a hole to fill in your team, converting one of your players' positions could save you from having to dip into the transfer market for a new signing. What's more, changing a player's position might help keep them happy too. If you've got too many central midfielders but lack depth out wide or in defense, retraining them will not only strengthen your squad in weaker areas, but also enhance their prospects of getting on the pitch more often, an important achievement when morale is key in FIFA 21. Foot customization. Customization is absolutely vital in a game mode like Ultimate Team, so it's encouraging to see additional options are being introduced. On FIFA 21, you'll start with a basic stadium that will expand as you play. Ultimately, you'll end up with a venue that can match the world's most prestigious footballing arenas from the Camp Nou to Old Trafford, not only for size, but for style too. Along the way, you'll be able to customize every aspect of the match day experience in your stadium, from pitch mold patterns to seat colors, from anthems and tifos and more, making your home unique to you. The customization options will allow players to better stamp their personality onto their club, which should help keep things fresh and interesting, even if you find yourself coming up against the same rosters over and over. Unfortunately for career mode players, this customization is only available in Ultimate Team because of licensing issues, but it's a welcome addition in this area. Position and Personality Of the gameplay features that are being introduced in FIFA 21, position and personality is among the most exciting for us if it is pulled off properly. EA will aim to increase the importance of players' positional sense and intelligence, both offensively and defensively to enhance the effectiveness of those who excel at being in the right place at the right time. Whether it's a playmaker finding a pocket of space in between the lines, or a defender reading the game to snuff out the threat before it happens, player's positioning and defensive awareness stats should be more significant in separating the great from the good. The likes of Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo will become even deadlier threats in front of goal. But the change will also allow players such as Thomas Muller and Winsome Ben Yedder to shine even brighter. At the other end, Virgil van Dijk will be even harder to get past, and N'Golo Kante's ability to cut off passing lanes and track runs will better reflect his incredible work rate. Revamped Transfers Career mode players will be delighted to learn that EA is adding some long overdue changes to the transfer market on FIFA 21. You'll be able to make loan offers that include the option or obligation to buy, making it easier to ensure your loanee stay at the club is permanent and reflecting the type of deal that is becoming increasingly commonplace in the real world. You might also receive player swap proposals from other AI managers too, instead of only offering them yourself. Unless you're desperate for the money or they've aged past their prime, 
it's rare to seriously consider an offer you receive for one of your stars on career mode. However, if a rival manager is offering a player of a similar caliber in exchange, you could actually be faced with an interesting dilemma. Signing players is one of the most fun aspects of any managerial career, whether you're playing FIFA, PES, or football manager, so it's especially exciting that they finally increased our options in that area. Which new features are you most excited about in FIFA 21? Let us know in the comments below.